Hey there, viewers. The idea of someone being incapable of love seems a little crazy, but unfortunately, it happens to more people than you think. It could be you. It starts with loving yourself first. If you can't do that, you're going to have trouble loving another person. In today's video, we're going to talk about the telltale signs a person is incapable of loving someone. Do they make lots of excuses? How are they communicating their feelings? Are they self-absorbed? Do they take responsibility or do they blame everything on other people? Do they give up easily? We'll talk about all of these and more. Number one, making excuses. So your partner said something really mean and when you point it out, they take no responsibility. In their eyes, it's you who misunderstood them or you're being extra sensitive. Well, that's certainly not a good sign. A person who makes excuses for everything cannot be a great partner. One of the signs you have to look out for is when the other person is making excuses all the time for their bad behavior. It's like they have zero self-awareness for the harm they're causing their partner. Some of the excuses you're going to hear are, I was drunk and I'm not usually like that, or you upset me and I got mad. These justifications are given by people who don't want to own the fact that what they did was wrong. They usually have no intention of changing their ways. Number two, they don't communicate. People who are incapable of loving others tend to be bad communicators. They remain close-minded and choose to let things get worse. If they have a bad experience with their partner, they keep it inside. That may not sound like a bad thing, but the long-term impact of this can be dreadful. They tend to let these feelings fester in their minds and then explode after a period of time. You don't even know what they're thinking. This is frustrating for any partner to deal with. After a while, you might be getting the dreaded silent treatment. So you pointed out something your partner did that hurt you and in response, they stopped communicating with you altogether. When your partner refuses to communicate verbally, it's silent treatment and it's not okay. People who use the silent treatment may even refuse to acknowledge the presence of the other person. It's sometimes a form of emotional abuse, especially when your partner uses it to control and manipulate you. If your partner is using silent treatment as a punishment or to control you and exert their power over you, it's emotional abuse. This type is incapable of loving. Number three, they're self-absorbed. People who aren't capable of loving others can be very self-absorbed. It's always about themselves and what they want. They don't have any understanding or compromise and insist that things go their way no matter what. This can also be frustrating for you, especially if you've tried to meet their every need. It's impossible to meet their every need. It doesn't matter how much you love them. No relationship lasts if only one person is satisfied. Number four, they take zero responsibility. For someone who doesn't have the capacity to love another person, it's hard for them to recognize when they're at fault. If they do something you don't like and you call them on it, they don't accept accountability. They put the blame on you and have no intention of working on the relationship. They expect you to take responsibility and make the necessary changes so that they don't have to feel uncomfortable. To them, that is much easier than just apologizing and working on themselves. Number five, they're always the victim. In any relationship, there will always be problems that need to be worked on. No relationship is free of things that need sorting out. Both sides will make mistakes. However, your partner may not see it that way. In their mind, you're the only one that's making mistakes. They put the blame on you for the smallest thing. They cannot or will not see how they're also part of the problem. Most of the time, they're only interested in how the situation can benefit them personally. Their tendency is to always victimize themselves, which can be harmful for the relationship. If you're in a relationship with someone who has a victim mentality, it can be a constant swirl of chaos and emotion. Not only do they act like you're causing them pain, they think you set out to do it purposely. They will never give you the benefit of the doubt. Number six, they give up too easily. Like I said, relationships, they require work. If your partner has no interest in you, they won't put any work in. They're happy as long as things are going well. As soon as something is wrong, they tend to give up quickly without resolving the issue. This is especially true when the relationship isn't benefiting them. They'll break up with you as soon as they lose interest or find that there's no purpose to be served by continuing on with you. 
Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch and learn more about the changes in your body that need immediate medical attention. Now back to our discussion on people who are incapable of love. Number 7. Not interested in growing A person that is incapable of love is also incapable of growing as a person. They have no interest in self-development and would rather think about how they can be rewarded. They'll even stop recognizing your needs over a period of time. These people tend to have a shorter span of attention. You'll see this as time goes on in your relationship. They're fully satisfied with themselves and have no intention of changing anything about their personality. They won't always tell you this, but their actions and behavior will say it for them. Number 8. They're closed-minded Another important characteristic you need to look out for is their unwillingness to open their minds to other perspectives. They tend to be stuck in their ways and will not bend for anyone. When they like something, they like it. They don't want to change things because their partner wants it. If they have a certain interest or a particular type of view, nobody can tell them otherwise. Number 9. They withdraw their emotions any relationship needs physical and emotional investment from both parties. This is how they work. But partners who don't love you will withdraw their emotions once they feel the relationship isn't working. The worst part is, we don't at first realize that this is what they're doing, but after a while it becomes pretty evident. While you're putting in effort to keep the relationship going, they just seem to not care anymore. Number 10. They're more interested in the opinions of others. While this may seem strange, people who are incapable of love actually worry about what other people are thinking of them. Instead of focusing on how their partner feels, they're more concerned with how their friends perceive their relationship. If someone loves you, they'll ultimately ignore the feelings of outsiders. They don't care if someone doesn't like who they're with. They only care about how you feel. Number 11. They're usually unhappy. It's really no surprise that these folks are usually unhappy people. When you point it out to them, they usually get really annoyed. This only proves your point further. A person who's self-absorbed and angry is usually very insecure. They have no idea who they are as people, making them miserable. This puts a lot of pressure on you, as you feel like you need to make them happier. Number 12. They suffer from emotional deprivation disorder. If the things we've described sound like your partner, they may suffer from a syndrome called emotional deprivation disorder. This condition is usually seen in people who did not receive enough attention growing up. People like this will often act out as a way to get eyes on them. They may get into a relationship solely for the constant attention. They tend to be emotionally stunted and are incapable of maintaining a healthy relationship. This is because they never received the education necessary to do so. They tend to not think about their partner's needs, hurting all their adult relationships in the process. Interested in knowing more about love and relationships? There's so much information to unlock on the subject. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out how to tell if it's lust or love. You should also watch what happens to your body when you fall in love. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about love and relationships. Did you know about any of these 12 signs before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below!